Did you know that you can get injured by being on the computer too much? I bet you did. But did you know that you can prevent and even fix computer injuries or computer related injuries pretty easily? I just want to share a little bit with you about that too. And in case you didn't know, hi, I'm Lucy and I'm here to help you optimize your busy life with healthy habits. Well, the last time I posted on YouTube was during the pre-launch of my book. And I've been keeping you guys updated on my blog, but I haven't posted anything here on YouTube since then. The pre-launch was really successful in my eyes, and I sent the manuscript to the publisher. He got back to me with some changes and edits in terms of how to make it easier to read and you know flow smoothly. I hope to get the book back to him for the second edit before Thanksgiving. And so yeah, it's actually been a lot of work. And just like every other big project that is really valuable, it takes more time than you would expect, right? <laughs> In the meantime, um, I've been nursing a computer injury. It's very unfortunate because it's shoulder tendinosis. And editing has a lot to do with mousing, right? And a lot of what I do is editing. Editing the book, editing my blog, editing my website, and editing videos. So you kind of have to move your arm just a little bit all the time. And that can create some serious injury if you hadn't already known. This one has been a little bit more difficult to get rid of because um, it's hard to get away from mousing if you work on the computer a lot. However, it is getting better. I have been repairing it and paying a lot of attention to taking care of my shoulder. I can share with you some of the things that I'm doing if you'd like. But I will also say that I have suffered a lot of injuries from the computer in the past. I had knee issues, hip issues, back issues, neck issues, wrist issues. Uh, and all of them I've been able to overcome by doing five things. So I want to share that with you so that you can take care of yourself as well, prevent injuries or get them to be better if you have them. First of all, move your body on a regular basis. Go take a walk. It's hard, especially if you're in the process of doing something and your brain is on that track, but you've got to make yourself get up and move and also change your chair position. Sitting, standing, move to another desk, move to a table, you know, take it to the conference room, whatever, but change your body position. Then stretch. You've got to stretch your joints, like your shoulders and your knees and hips and back, practically everything you need to be stretching on a daily basis. I'm not saying, you know, twice a week, I mean daily. Then you want to exercise those joints. You need to do specific exercises that help your shoulders to stay back, help your knees to stay open, you know, help your back to stay in place. That would be core exercises. And then set up the computer and your desk so that it fits your body well, right? I mean, you call that ergonomic positioning, but the easy way to say it is make sure that your desk is in the right position for your eyes so you don't have to look down a lot or look up a lot like that. And your chair is in the right position for your back and your knees. It takes time. I mean, I've been working on that for a long time and um, perfecting it as I go. It's still not perfect, but those are the things you need to do. Move frequently, change your position, stretch, exercise your joints, and fix your computer and your chair. So because of that, I'm going to be doing things on YouTube a little bit differently. You'll see some changes as we go, but I'm back and I'm excited about it. And um, let me know in the comments what you might want to hear from me next. I'm looking forward to connecting with you guys again and I hope you have a great week. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more like this. And um, find me on my blog at lucyfit.com, L-U-C-I-F-I-T.com.